Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skudubuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W50A of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. Uh, and as you may have guessed, uh, this video is about uh, liquids, <laughs> specifically water and lava. Uh, now, I had originally intended this video just to be something really short on the, a change to the game mechanics involving lava that was introduced, I think, in 15W49A. Uh, but as I was gathering all of the related information and organizing it, uh, I realized that there was really a lot of stuff there, uh, and a lot of it were things that I had learned the hard way through experimentation. Uh, and partly that's because the information that was available was uh, either out of date, or it wasn't at the level of detail that I wanted, uh, or the explanations just weren't as clear as I would have preferred. Uh, so I've taken all that information and I've broken it up into some subtopics here, um, uh, so this is really just the first in a sequence of video uh, videos, the uh, the introductory video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about lava, uh, sorry, water and lava in terms of their block states, um, and I'll also be talking a little bit about the technical blocks, flowing water and flowing lava, uh, as well as the way in which liquids interact with other blocks. Uh, in the uh, next video, I will be talking about the um, uh, the mechanics of uh, liquid spreading in Minecraft. Uh, and uh, the video following that will be about uh, water, uh, the current in water, uh, and after that I'll have a, a short video on the mechanics of fire spreading from lava, uh, and the last video will be about the interaction between water and lava. Uh, now, I know a lot of this information will be known to Minecraft regulars, uh, although there, there may be a few surprises in here for even more advanced players. Um, but the, the, my explanations I intend to be at a, um, a relatively l a sophisticated level of detail, uh, so um, uh, hopefully that will keep uh, um, people who are a little bit uh, more familiar with this topic interested. Um, it, but I am going to be doing this as a, se as a sequence of videos, as a series, um, and partly that's because there's really just a lot of information here, and I think that packing it into a single video would just make it too long. Uh, it's easier for me to make shorter videos, uh, and um, I, I feel like it's also a bit easier to digest the information in shorter videos. Um, I, I don't do this to uh, increase views or anything. I don't monetize my channel. I just do this for fun. Um, uh, but um, if, if you would rather see uh, bite-sized videos like I'm uh, like I intend to make for the series, or if you would rather see me pack it all into one longer video, uh, please uh, let me know uh, what your opinion is, um, what you think is a more enjoyable presentation for this kind of information, because it will influence the way in which I finish this series off, uh, and it will influence the way in which I make additional videos. Uh, okay, so I think that is it then for uh, for this video. Uh, like I said, in the next video I'm going to be talking about uh, water and lava in terms of their block states, uh, as well as the technical blocks flowing water and flowing lava, and uh, the way in which liquids interact with other blocks. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching.